everyone, welcome back. This is Evan with Life with Crypto, and today we're going to jump in and talk about how to use the Aave DeFi protocol for lending and borrowing. Um, but before we get into this, let's just jump into some other options. So Aave is the decentralized way of lending and borrowing. It's not the only way, but it's the protocol with the most liquidity provided. And if you can see this, this is 26 billion, so it's a lot. Remember, there are other options if you don't want to get into DeFi, which means setting up a MetaMask and sending funds over there. There's projects like BlockFi, which are giving you about 9% interest. Um, there's a link in the description for this if you're interested in that. Um, they also have crypto-backed loans at 4.5%. So that would be there, you know, giving you interest and letting you borrow, along with Celsius. That's giving you 10% on your stable coins from USDC, USDT, um, even all these other coins. So you can take a look at this to see if they allow you to deposit and earn interest on the coin you're interested in. But also one of the very interesting things is they offer borrows at 1%, which is quite good. <laughs> um, I'm not exactly sure. I'm sure based on which coin you deposit or, or which crypto, it'll give you what amount of that coin you can borrow. Um, so look in the description if you want to check out that. Another great opportunity. But we're going to jump into Aave because that is the DeFi way of lending and borrowing. It's not the only way, but it's very popular. So just to break down this website um, and look at these, there's V1, which is just phasing out. It's Ethereum-based. V2 is also Ethereum-based with a little less fees. But anything with Ethereum, you know, if you want to check out ETH gas, gas prices, it's extremely expensive to send on Ethereum. I mean, just to look at this, if you were just going to do a transfer, it's $108. If you're going to do a swap, which is what that would be called, it would be about $332 just to um, swap into the coin you want and to deposit the LP token. It's $300. It's just ridiculous. So I advise against Ethereum unless you're a whale with tons of Ethereum and you don't care. So let's look at Polygon, which every you know to deposit it's less it's like half a cent so this is a layer two on ethereum it makes all the transactions very cheap and works on metamask so what we can see by this chart which can be a little bit confusing is that this is the deposit apy so this is the amount you're getting for depositing your matic and matic is the gas token of uh, polygon but you're also getting a bonus paid out which is paid out in matic and that's 3.22. So, you know, 0.25 plus 3.22 is roughly 3.5% in total rewards you're going to be getting. So there are some pretty good um, opportunities here. One of the ones I see, which is the highest and really is even higher than Celsius or BlockFi, is 12.72 plus 4.72. So roughly you're looking at 18%, um, 17.5% just for depositing USDT. However, there is a pretty high fee just to borrow from that deposited amount, and that is 15%. And you can almost subtract seven because you're getting paid to borrow as well. So this number is always paid out to you, and this upper number is the fee you pay for borrow. So if you did 15 minus seven, roughly half, you're maybe uh, only paying 7% to borrow. So some people do a thing where they borrow and then they redeposit it back here to make that 18%. And that's called kind of circular borrowing. Gets a little more advanced, a little bit out of the scope of this video, but I do want to do an overview on this protocol. Um, the other chain that there also um, has a significant amount of deposited uh, value, about 8 billion is uh, um, is AVAX or Avalanche. So if you look at this, they're also offering pretty significant rewards on USDT, almost 8%. Um, you're looking at four plus two. Um, so it's about 6.5 for USDC. So there's some pretty cool opportunities. And if you have Avalanche, this is looking at almost 12% to just deposit it. So there are some opportunities, but now you're looking at it from the outside uh, let's get into it and show you what it looks like on the inside. Make sure that you are on Matic because we're connecting to uh, Polygon Network. We press connect 
And this is a browser wallet, which is what we're using, MetaMask. So we're gonna go next and connect. So now that we're here, and I do have a little bit of a little bit of USDT in my wallet. And the reason for that is I see this looks like a very uh, good opportunity, about 17, almost 18%. Um, I see that is even potentially a little better than uh, Celsius and BlockFi just for this uh, one. But what you do see, which is quite powerful, is you can do this decentralized through your wallet. So one way, I'm gonna jump in and show you what this actually looks like. So this is very interesting. This is the total amount uh, deposited. This is the full circle. So the reserve size is 54 million, or 54, um, yeah, that's 54 million. And you see that of that 54 million, you have about 141 million that are borrowed and there's only 12,000 of liquidity. So remember those APRs I showed you that were really high, um, especially for USDT, is because it's borrowed so heavily that they're, they, need more, they need more liquidity here, which is what you would provide. So what we're looking to do is add a little bit to this pool to make that percentage we were talking about. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna max out. Actually, we can just take this to 10 even to make it simple. We're going to go continue. We are going to approve this transaction on our MetaMask. See, the Matic gas is so incredibly cheap. It was less than a penny for that transaction. After that, I waited about 30 seconds. Now we're going to confirm the deposit of our USDT into the Aave protocol. So we're going to press that button. Approve this. It shows there's going to be a little bit of gas there, but about a penny worth. And we just wait a little bit longer. So after seeing this, I see that it is confirmed. Three out of three success. So we can go click on dashboard. And what we are seeing is that we have 10 USDT there. We're seeing that since we deposit USDT, it cannot be used as collateral. Meaning you cannot do the circular borrowing with USDT, which is you put in 10, you borrow seven, then you put back in seven, you borrow six, and you can keep doing this to leverage the amount of earn, <laughs> yields you're making because you're making more in interest than you are for the borrowing fee. So it's an interesting thing some people do. Sometimes that's uh, available, but other times it just doesn't make sense. Like in this case, it's impossible. So let's go check that out. All right. So we're going to go back and we do see that the asset price, this shows you the exact value of the asset price. It's not giving you a y-axis, so it's not showing you, but more or less, uh, USDT is very stable. And now we're making this amount, 12.72%, plus the uh, bonus of about 4 or 5%. So if you go to your dashboard, click right here, it shows you the exact amount you have and the amount you're getting paid out, which is you know, 12.74 plus the 4.72. And you will see this little extra bonus that appears right here in claim. So obviously when it gets to be enough, you can claim it to your wallet. But, um, you know, you cannot use this as collateral. But what is it like to use a coin that you can use as collateral? Well, in this case, we can look at DAI. And we can also look at USDC. So what would be the best opportunity between these two? We're seeing that you make three plus you know, two, so three, four, five percent here in total. And here you're making about 7.5. Um, so that looks pretty appealing. So let's deposit about $10 worth of die. All right, so let's go over to deposit and then we're gonna go over to die. Shows you how much that I have in my wallet and we're gonna max this out. We're not gonna max this out, we're gonna do 10. We're gonna go continue. And then we're going to go to approve and wait for this transaction to happen. Approve the gas fee and then we wait. All right, so we waited for that um, to go through and now we just click deposit and confirm and wait for that to go through. All right, so this has been deposited. So now I have 10 of DAI and 10 of USDT. Remember, DeFi things get a little wonky sometimes. The refresh button is your best friend. 
because sometimes you deposit and you freak out, where did it go? But it's there, you just have to refresh the page. So that is one of the biggest um, ways to fix things. So do we wanna keep this as collateral? No, actually, I think we do wanna keep this as collateral because it allows us to borrow DAI. And let's show you the borrow fee. So it is, if you wanna borrow your $10, there will be a 7.5% fee. However, you're getting paid for, you're getting paid to borrow, which is the thing that makes Aave so great. So let's knock off four, three point, so it ends up being 3.5% to borrow. So if you borrow and you're paying 3.5%, and then you can redeposit your borrow back to here and make about 7.5%. There's a little bit of an arbitrage opportunity right there. So I'm gonna show you um, what it looks like to actually borrow. All right, so what we do is we go over to the borrow section and seeing that I actually have a little die right here, excuse me, a little die right here, it shows you on a risk scale, how risky it is to borrow how much. And remember, I have $10, so the most risky you could do is 7.5%. And this is risky because DAI <clears throat> is a coin that is values derived from staked ETH. So the value of DAI could fluctuate just a couple cents, which if you have this at the maximum risky level, um, it could liquidate all of your coins and you could lose money, which is what you do not want to do. So I would never recommend um, taking this all the way to the top. Remember, this whole video is not financial advice. This is just um, a way of operating and something that I do for fun. So I'm just sharing a hobby with you guys. So it says over here the utilization ratio is about 80.86. And we're seeing that looks like you can borrow up to 75% of the coin you have. So let's keep it a little safer and let's borrow, let's borrow $5 worth or even, what does $6 work? It looks like a little riskier, so let's just go into $5 worth. We're gonna go continue. Select the interest rate, it gives me zero options, but it just tells you. All right, we are going to borrow that amount. All right, approve the gas fee and let that go through. All right, so that took about two or three minutes, so you're gonna have to be a little patient, but it was a success. I now have five die that I borrowed on top of my 10. So let's go over to that dashboard and see what I have there. All right, so this is my dashboard. Remember to refresh. So here you go. This is what it looks like. Make sure you refresh. So I actually took that 10 and I went over here and I borrowed five, so I'm actually losing 3.5%, but I have that extra $5. So what could you potentially do? You could go spend that or use that for another investment, or you could just drop it back in here. And if, if you remember, I had, um, you know, I had about 1350 there, it went down to 1340, and then I had an extra five deposited into my MetaMask. So what I can always do, is just deposit another little bit more here. The five that I just got, continue. I'm gonna deposit. So now I have 15 die, and you can do a little bit more borrowing on the 15. You just click here, and now my health score is a little bit better. So we can do another, we can do another fairly safe borrow of 4.45 continue take that and my health factor is getting lower remember the higher your health factor is the better it is as it approaches uh, the lower it gets the not so good and it'll denote it with the color which is very helpful so now i have that extra for uh, 4.45 here so i can always just uh, deposit a little bit more back into the die so I'm learning earning more and more interest. So since I have that 4.45 I just borrowed, let's continue. And then we will deposit that. And when I do that, it really increases my health score from, it was about 1.2 to 1.64. So remember, if you take the money out and you don't redeposit it, it really um, 
hampers your health score. So now we go back to the dashboard. Always remember to refresh. And it's interesting. This is, this is how the money has been doubled. So now I'm making 7% on $20, um, which is actually, this is actually 7.5% on $20, and I'm paying 3.5 for $10. So if you average that out, um, I could even do the calculation for you. So just to put this in perspective, um, if you just did the $10 die for the entire you know, one year period at that 7.5%, you would be making 75 cents. But with this ability to almost double the amount you've borrowed die and make that 7.5% on $20, but there is a fee on $10 of 3.5%, um, you are then not making 75 cents, you are making $1.16, which is 35% more. I know this is complicated, but I do want to illustrate the power of Aave, and it is a little bit complicated, um, but it is a great tool to use if you want to get into this. Remember, if this is a little bit too much for you or a little bit over, over your head, there's always BlockFi paying out 9%, and there's also Celsius paying out about 10%. And if you are actually not in the United States, there's a really cool thing you could do where you could get paid out in the Celsius token 12.6% on stable coins, which is pretty good, tough to beat, and 1% borrows are good. So check the link in the description for both BlockFi and Celsius if you're interested in that. And if you're interested in Aave, just go to Aave.com. And... If you're interested in any more videos about DeFi, making passive income, and just general walkthrough tutorial videos, please follow and subscribe to Life with Crypto. And this is Evan, and I will be talking to you soon. Make sure to ask any questions in the comments section. We answer them all. All right, have a good day. Bye.